Time for a rapid Iraq update. Welcome to this video. Let's go ahead, jump right into this article. The central bank governor, we are working to activate payment systems through financial inclusion to reach all citizens. Okay, what does that mean? Well, getting to the meat and potatoes of all of this, since 2019, they pass some macroeconomic conditions and they have to deal with strategies, dealing with goods, advantages such as agricultural products, and how the financial institution plays an important role in macroeconomics balancing all these conditions that were passed since 2019. The central bank is working with the Ministry of Finance to re reform government banks as well as activating payment systems by activating financial inclusions, access to services to all citizens as the number of accounts doubled from 3 million in 2019 to 6 million in 2020. And these, they also have electronic cards increased from 10 million to 12 million. So that is really good news. So understand this, the central bank and all the banks combined have been working feverishly on these integrated systems to combat anti-money laundering laws that have been put into place to combat terrorist financing organizations, as well as establishing a sovereign fund for future generations in which state institutions and oil revenues can contribute to with regard to digital transformation the central bank and the governor confirmed that the bank is working to develop technical infrastructures cybersecurity, automated services and setting up and opening up electronic wallets i just did a short video it's one minute long about this article i'll put the link down below on what you should know about financial surveillance that's integrated in the 3.5 trillion dollar reconciliation package that is being considered by congress right now through the biden administration you probably should check out this article that's in the description of this video link down below Okay, so Baghdad sends 2.5 billion dinars to the Kurdistan region. They do break it down here where it's going to go, how much to Erbil, how much to Doha, how much to Sulaymaniyya, and other regions of Kurdistan. Security Council 1518 Sanctions Committee removes one entry from its sanctions list. It sounds really good. One of the entries happens to be the Baghdad Stock Exchange. Doesn't really say what it's for, but it sounds really, really good. <laughs> Video, the banking sector is heading to digitize. Its business will restore confidence with the citizens. And I agree 100%. This is where they want to go. I mean, if Iraq has a plan to do something with Iraqi dinar, they want to be digitized. Having the confidence with the citizens of Iraq is a huge plus. Make things easier, hopefully better to manage, become modernized. If there's anything they're waiting for, I, I would say would have to be this. I wanted to make a public announcement to all of you individuals who signed up for your passive income generator, your pig. There's a call tonight. Make sure you check your email and or your back office. Get on that call. There's some new updates, some announcements, and be expecting an email from me. That's all I have to say. Things are looking really good and moving forward with that. Now on to Washington. We are committed to support Iraq's efforts to implement the White Paper on Economic Reform. I like the sounds of that. U.S. Ambassador Matthew Toller highlighted the project supported by American Development Finance Corporation to improve access to finance in Iraq during a welcome speech, Iraq Finance Fair, which was held on, on Wednesday. Uh, it's hard for me to like, I guess I need to find out more why the U.S. agencies of international development is just providing more $8 million in loans to Iraq since 2015 to help small and medium-sized enterprises recover from the war against ISIS. It's just what it is. I just hope that this money can be accounted for, go in the right direction. Because what I've learned about Afghanistan and how much money only 30% of billions of dollars was actually accounted for. So I guess I'll just leave it like that. United States is committed to supporting Iraq's efforts. Implementing the white paper on economic reforms Build a vibrant and developed economy. Provide job opportunities in the private sector. So yeah, yeah, man. How are we going to know that it's working? Through the reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. And it can't come soon enough. President Saleh is at the United Nations in New York City. We succeeded in overcoming the tragedies and liberating 
are cities from ISIS. So he might have spoken by now. I didn't see the video. Maybe somebody can comment below. Iraq is looking super great. I like where it's headed. Thanks for being on this video. Stay grounded. Got some great things coming to you. Stay tuned. And my goodness, stay rapid.